Now, after many years of opposition, plans to build a tramway fell flat in West London last year. But now people in South London are calling for their own service to improve links across the river. The scheme would cost an estimated £650 million and run from Camden in the north down to Peckham and Brixton in the south. But it's up to the mayor to sign off the project. Some South London residents think Boris Johnson shouldn't hesitate. We think this is the solution London's looking for. It needs a major new initiative. And, you know, it feels like everywhere else has got it. Croydon got one. The east-west links are always being talked about. But north-south is just the black hole. Why can't the job opportunities up here be opened out to the people south of the river? Well, the Liberal Democrats' Caroline Pigeon is the chair of the London Assembly's Transport Committee and joins us now. Caroline, thanks for joining us. You're in favour of a tram. First of all, talk us through the benefits. Well, places like Peckham are really poorly served by public transport, as you've just heard. Overcrowded buses relying on the overground. And it can take longer to get into central London from places like Peckham than it does from Reading, for example. It's absolutely ridiculous, and that's why we need a fast, efficient and green tram. Karen, not everybody is happy about this, though, are they? Camden Council, they have concerns. In fact, I've got it in front of me. They think it would increase congestion and ruin some residential areas. Yeah, there, there clearly are some concerns about certain bits of the route and we would need to deal with that. But that is a huge support as well in Camden for this, including from businesses who are finding that places like Holborn Station closing about five times every day is having a real impact on business. So it's not just about finding the cost of putting this tram in place, it's about the cost to London if we don't go ahead with this tram. Plans in West London, though, they were scrapped. I mean, do you honestly think this is a realistic thing that's going to happen? Look, you know, there are trams in every other great European city and we've got the Croydon tram and what a success that's been. I think they have, you know, something like 28 million people using it every year. It's hugely popular. People in that area want it expanded. There is a real case with the, with the fuel prices and everything at the moment to look at clean alternative transport and we need to get trams into the centre of London now to really help these communities that need to travel across the river and into town. Caroline Pigeon, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much.